Welcome back to the show. Like, share, subscribe. Today, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to share my road rant. But let's talk about the reason for my rant. Let's, let's hear a little of it. And I, and I said this before and I'll say it again. Every time there's an election, we go to the people. We we'll find a way in every nook and cranny, and we we'll go to them for their votes. We can buy votes if we need to buy. I am of the view that just as all you treat an election, you should treat this very important process. I believe Look by eyesight. <laughs> And use that and get the people them to come. And when them come now, you, you hold them with the food, with the KFC or whatever. And say, like, oh, you don't bear now, let me talk about the Constitution. Right? Yeah. Because that is how you get to make them. Yeah, basically, attorney at law, Saeed Bernard. What a play for the PMP. One thing about the PMP, <laughs> they're going to show their hand, <laughs> even when nobody want to see it. I did a road rant about this. And you know what? Before we do that, people got stuff to say about it. You see this comment right here? Um, yes, they know how we Jamaicans in Yami Yami. So they'll use it to control our mind. You understand me? Somebody else said, this is so disrespectful and degrading on so many levels someone says i hope the pmp stupid bloggers see this and know it's for real <laughs> yeah man give praises you know yeah thanks to everybody who continues to subscribe to the steady show you see what may i say may i appreciate it man continue to support the show so Yesterday, may I watch this conversation here, you know, along with um, that lawyer from Nationwide. Let me talk about, you know, how them can strategize to win the people. I mean, a nutshell, they tell you, say, just give them some food, play some music, get them together, get them votes. But one poor people, if you look at this and realize, are the problem then cause Jamaica with their nyami nyami and their licky licky mentality. You know, see the price them where them are buying you know what? Because on a mentality, on a mentality costs too much at the end of the day, you know. On a mentality costs Jamaica too much at the end of the day. And no for you know one Mark Golden win election just because you know one continue that niami niami licky licky hand up. And every part of Jamaica is full of garrisons, you know. All because you know can get a look of money. I don't can get a lot of food and then can play some music. I really hope so Jamaica see what I go on, you know. From Golden not wanting to surrender him dual citizenship. I don't think the British citizen go have an interest more at heart than Andrew Holness. If Lisa Hanna had won that presidency, I don't never sell out Lisa. I don't think so Lisa, uh, you think so would have a problem. I don't think we would have this problem here. Yeah? With wanting to reform our constitution, but we can't do that because somebody are block it because of them own a self interest. And every day them out here, listen, enough people in our paper are talk about the fact that Mark Golden, you resign or your government, go back to your country, go serve your ancestors, people them. You are your ancestor people them. You understand me? Make few ancestor people them serve we in a Jamaica since you're willing to come and lie about our ancestors and what we ancestors them do and what they suffered at the hands of your own ancestors. Stop gaslighting people. You can't rewrite history bridging. You me? You're Jamaican. You show your loyalty to Jamaicans by renouncing your UK citizenship. Or you go. We don't need it for any country. We don't need you to run the country, brother. We don't, you haven't shown us that you will do any better than Andrew Holness. And I only pray that this time around, the uncommitted majority will make sure that they come out. They make sure, say, you not step in the office. Or I hope that in a year, party, them decide, them go, them go, um, them go choose another leader such as we saw in a letter the other day. And I'm willing to take down Jamaica for a handout because as far as the concern, on the things you had a government for mine on a picnic them. Had a government for mine on a picnic them. Had a government had a government for send nobody three, four, five, six, seven picnic at school. And me, Andrew, 
has been doing a lot of things to get youths employed. And unemployment rate has been at its lowest, 4 point something percent. You understand me, I said to you? Lowest it's ever been. You understand me? The economy is doing good. You understand me? Jamaica is doing better in so many ways. But we have this Rise United people over the other side. All they do is criticize and talk about corruption as if Jamaica forget about for them history of corruption. We want to make the people and buy out the PMP party what Jamaica they love so much. And it cost on a couple elections and on a tell all if a lie now the propaganda politics reach Jamaica now and the politics get serious. But these guys in you know, the PMP then are ready. They are gonna do everything. They're keeping meetings after meetings and you can see all over social media. JLP posts PMP and diet a kid problem. PMP post, they are doing the most. But hey, everybody free after them phone. At the end of the day, we have to watch what go on, man. Nobody not supposed to have vote. You're not supposed to sell out your democracy for a plate of food, man. So they no picnic are hard. Some big people no can go back a hard to go learn a skill. Some of can bake. Some of can cook. Some of can learn all kind of trade work. Some learn for sew. Some turn mechanic. Do practical things. Do you realize that in America, these are the kind of jobs that pay? And in Jamaica, they pay as well. They pay. But stop looking for politicians for a go no handouts. I don't do nothing for you. No. Remember, you know, PMP only want to win now. You know, forget more power. You know, because Andrew empowered the whole of them. You, know. you remember one time when the opposition, them used to mag and dry up? They don't mag and dry up no more. They get big pay. All the fight is for now is for more money. And no are no willing to sell out the country. Look how much poor youth, look how much women in the politics now. Look how much young people in the politics now since Andrew come. Every day someone get up and I call Andrew all kind of names. A disrespecting man and I talk about the man corrupt. Uno no say the man is doing well and uno only want the power. And everybody I look hand out from politicians. You don't need to remember that. Some people just want good for the country. We can't bring back the handout politics. Some of the old people too, no need for Some of the old people mash up the country too, you know. Because a long time, we are ride politician, you know, and are stop, you know. But young people, sensible people, this is the time when common Jamaicans have the best opportunity to step up in their leadership. And the next thing we want to say, you see how much, you see how much dual citizens, the inner, the inner parliament, pan JLP and PMP side, just to, just to, just to put it out there. Enough of them. Uh, you see how much rich people, money people, people who have dual citizenship, people who not even born here in a parliament because uh, the poor people them sell out the country all the while to they, they, they sell it out to the, 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 the upper class people them now they're ready to sell it back. You understand me? To a uh, citizen of a different race from, from the United Kingdom. And no, it is not constitutionally sound for Mark to be dead. No found I play politics. You see them here O'Brien trying to talk about the facts. Eh? You understand me? No for the the, 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 the so called human rights groups and so on. Them them now speak about what go on with the nation's politics. Me hear a big big liar come out and I tell lie. But oh there's nothing wrong, it's constitutionally sound. As if the constitution never said them did for renounce before. Ah yeah man, other people people gonna get caught in the crossfire. From JLP side and PMP side. And the least we are asked now is that people renounce. You understand me? But on the way, if we sell out the country to somebody who not even want to renounce then dual citizenship. Yesterday, one lawyer came out and said, What going to happen if Mark remains a dual citizen? You understand me? And the UK called for some kind of military um, thing to take place and call upon all of them citizens to, to represent their interest. You understand me? What, which side am I going to take? Mark don't even have assets in a Jamaica. You understand me? So I want to hold on pan. Or is a wanga got licky licky nyami nyami set of people. Enough Jamaicans. Not everybody. Too much of honor. I don't need for change, man. So we know that them are by votes long time. And we've, we've heard the allegations from both sides. But they come out and they are talking now. So I hope at least some of them wise up. I'm tired of foolishness right now with the man. Yeah, man. Steady. <laughs>